It's only been a few weeks since I started working here, but I've already learned a lot. And I don't just mean my job. Felix hasn't changed one bit since school and still has no time for anyone. Claude's childlike charm can be obnoxious, but nothing I can't handle. Allegra cares a lot about her work and is really good at it. The only one eluding me is this Alan person. We've never met, but I need to know more about him. And I think I have the perfect opportunity to do so. Hey, Claude, all of these boxes are for Alan. Who is he? Oh, Alan! He's my best bud! He's not really in the office a lot, you know, for business trips, with the amount of shows Gabe puts on. Alan's always busy managing the sets and stuff. Ah, I see. Can I open these? Maybe they need to be set up, or at least we can try to get rid of some of these boxes? I wouldn't touch them. Alan doesn't like it when his things are messed with. Oh, really? But I know what we could do instead. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Alan, you're back! Hi, Alan. Hi, Alan. I'm Marinette, the new production assistant. I'm Alan. I guess we're being filmed now. That's cool. Let's see. I started here a little while after Claude, when the marketing department was just getting started. I handle getting the sets together by scouting locations, purchasing what the design team needs, as well as the setup and teardown. I'm not sure if the marketing label makes sense for my job description, but I was never moved after being hired. Besides, I like it here. Hi, Alan. Crazy morning, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry about all this. And it's nice to meet you. Marinette, right? Yep, that's me. <laughs> you know, just manning the phone, scheduling things. Um, can I ask what's with all the boxes? They're for a show. I'll get the guys downstairs to take it all to the warehouse. Sorry, I've got to take this. I need to know what's in these boxes. Hey, Claude. How's it going? Oh, how the tables have turned. I see you can't resist visiting me now because of my sweet box fort. <laughs> yes, you got me. You know, these boxes. Does this department normally get a lot of shipments? Nah, no one ever sends us stuff. Whatever the company orders usually just goes to the warehouse or straight to the shows. Huh. That's very interesting. I did some digging, and it seems that the reason these boxes ended up here is because Felix ordered them instead of Alan. Felix only recently started working here, then these boxes just happened to be ordered for a show. It all makes perfect sense now. Hello, Felix. Miss Dupin Cheng. So, there's a lot of boxes out there, huh? A bit over the top, if you ask me. Pretty strange contents, though. White butterflies? And so many of them. Yes, my father can get quite... How should I put this? Extra with his shows. <laughs> sure, sure. It's funny, because all I can think of is this seems like an order that, oh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe Hawkmoth would make. What are you... Oh, Felix, by the way. I know you recently started, but usually all the show-related orders go to the warehouse, not here. As you can see, sometimes we get a lot of product. I appreciate you ordering the butterflies for our annual butterfly garden show. But don't worry, I've got it covered from now on. Thank you for letting me know. It won't happen again. Well, guess I was wrong. Felix, I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I didn't mean to accuse you of anything. It, it was just a joke. Apology accepted. Besides, I don't blame you. There are some strange things going on here. Tell me about it. I, I mean, there are? Come in. Close the door. Miss Dupan Chang, I've always seen you as a keen observer. You would always see injustices during our grade school years and try to fix them. Really? Um, thank you, but... I don't see your point. 
Right, I'll get to it. There are some questionable things going on behind the scenes in this company, and I'd like to enlist your services. What services? You're in the perfect position. Your desk oversees the entire office. You have access to company files and my father's schedule, and you were the last one hired so I can trust you. I need you to keep a lookout for any nefarious deeds being done here and report them to me. Fine. I'll work with you. On one condition. You need to share everything you find with me as well. I don't want to be kept in the dark. Done. Cat Noir? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing, milady. I've been trying to find new leads, and it happened to bring me here. You? What a coincidence. It's the same for me. It seems we were led to each other. If I had a euro for every time you've said that... Yes, sorry. You're right. This is serious detective business. What are you looking for? Here we go. There was a recent shipment to this department for white butterflies, the same type Hawk Moth uses. It says here that 120 units were ordered and... Wait. I just checked the warehouse. There were only a hundred units down there. Someone's, Someone's skimming, skimming off, off the, the top. top! Felix, I need a favor. And a good morning to you as well, Mr. Peng Cheng. Do you have access to the security footage of the warehouse? Why? I, uh, I happened to be going through some paperwork and found that there are less units from yesterday's delivery in the warehouse than were ordered. I found it strange and wanted to know where the missing boxes went. Well, by coincidence I came to the same conclusion and started looking into it. Apparently the missing boxes were sent to the show early for testing. It seems they order extra every year for this purpose. Oh, well, that's... good that it wasn't anything, then. Quite right. Mr. Pain Cheng seems to be on top of her game. I think I've been underestimating her abilities. I clearly made the right choice. Could you imagine Mr. Lemue in this position? Neither could I. Attention everyone! The Butterfly Garden Show will be starting at 19.30 tonight, and you're all invited. We have four seats saved for all of you, so just let the doorman know. Don't bother saving one for me. My father always has me sit by him. I need to leave early to get ready. I've never been to one of Mr. Agrest's shows before. They're invite-only and very exclusive. As someone who wants to pursue a career in the fashion industry, yeah, you could say I'm a little excited to go to this. <laughs> Have you all been to this show before? Oh yeah, it's kind of like the biggest event of the year. Wouldn't miss it. I didn't take you for the fashion type, Claude. Oh no, he's not in it for the actual show. We hire some of the best catering in all of France. It's to die for. Aside from that, it's a black tie event. I hope you have something to wear. I do! I've been wanting to try in a new gown I designed, but I haven't had an occasion to wear it to. I see what she's doing. Marinette's going to show off some rags to Mr. Agrest in hopes of getting noticed for her fashion design. Like she would ever interest the king of all fashion, please. Two can play at this game, and I don't lose. You never gone this big for one of these. I don't know what you're talking about. Allegra, your dress is gorgeous. It is, you know, you look beautiful. Thank you. Idiots, they're all idiots. How did the test go? I'm excited to see it in action. What test? Weren't you testing the butterfly release before the show started? No. If we did that, it would take forever to catch all of them. We've been doing this show for years. We know how to rig everything correctly, so it's all good. You're gonna love it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Excuse me for a moment. What is it, Mr. Peng Cheng? The show's about to start. I just found out that they don't test the butterflies before the show. Those boxes are still missing. Felix, what are you doing? Go back to your seat. 
Father, something rather important has come up. Sir, hello. I'm not sure if you're aware, but some boxes of butterflies seem to have gone missing when they were transferred from our department. This is Miss Dupain Cheng. We went to school together. She works as your PA. Ah, yes. I remember you. Well, thank you for bringing this to my attention. I will certainly look into it. Lovely dress, by the way. Who are you wearing? Uh, oh, it's a dress I designed, sir. So I guess you could say I'm wearing a marinette? Really? Well, I'm glad you're working for me. Can't wait to see how far you go. Felix, come back to your seat immediately. Next time, keep everything between us. Anyone could be a suspect, including my father. So don't... Are you listening to me? Gabriel Agrest likes my dress. My dress! I've been hoping for this my whole life. Is this a dream? No. I quite think this might be the beginning of a nightmare. The show was spectacular. Yeah, really showed off what's in this season. The first round highlighted some decadent starters, including deviled eggs and steak tartare, followed up by a classic Cook Avon. The dessert spread channeled a red theme, strawberries everywhere, a must-have for summer. Overall, a 10 out of 10. Great job, Alan. Can't wait to see what you bring for us next year. Are these yours? Yeah, they're gifts from a friend. But I have too many, so I figured I'd bring some in for anyone to use. <laughs> this friend of Mr. Peng Cheng has some impeccable taste. I gave that exact mug to a colleague not too long ago. I should find out where they shop. Hey, look at us! Seems like we're bro soulmates! It's a sweet his and her set, right? I have the other half line and wait for when I find my queen. <laughs> that will be the day. What's your take on mug culture? I think your choice of mugs says a lot about you as a person. Not anybody can just choose any mug. I mean, if you choose a white mug, it could be like polyester or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm even talking about about mug culture, but you know, mugs are fine. But I, I'm more of a gallon guy myself. <laughs> what am I doing?